Phillips, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this Bridgerton inspired makeup look, specifically focusing a little bit more on the color scheme of Penelope Featherington. Penelope was one of my favorite characters in Bridgerton and so I thought it'd be fun to kind of create a Bridgerton look inspired by her with the yellows and the pinks because I feel like they really were able to put her personality into the coloring for her costumes and I just absolutely love it and this is also in honor of the release of season two of Bridgerton as well. So anyways, with that being said, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can achieve this Bridgerton Penelope Featherington inspired makeup look, then just keep watching. Hey Spoops, so to get started, I'm going to be popping in some blue contact lenses before taking my Pixi Rose Plus Essence Oil and applying this all over my face before going into my Fenty Skin Sunscreen and applying this over my face as well to help moisturize it. I'm then going to be taking my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer and applying this over my face as well before going into my Pixi Rose Plus Radiance Perfector and applying this over my face too before going into my MAC Strobe Cream and applying this to my cheekbones to help give it a luminous glow under my foundation. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my Rare Beauty 210N foundation and I'm going to be applying this all over my face using my It Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. I'm then going to be taking my Buckle Bunny Beauty Creamed Powder Foundation in Mocha and I'm going to be using this as a cream contour. So I'm going to be applying this to the areas that I would like to contour and deepen. So that is going to be my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, and my jawline before making sure to go ahead and blend that out. Next I'm going to be taking my Makeup Revolution Concealer and I'm going to be using this to highlight my face. So I'm going to be applying this to my forehead and under my eyes before making sure to go ahead and blend that out. And then I'm going to be setting my face with my Airspun Translucent Powder, focusing especially on areas that tend to crease. So this is going to be under my eyes and my forehead. Next I'm going to be taking my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm going to be using this to help contour and bronze up my cheekbones and then I'm also going to be applying that to my forehead as well before going into my blush where I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Kissing a Frog blush and applying this to the apples of my cheeks and then highlighting my cheekbones with my Revlon Prismatic Highlighter. For my brows, I'm going to be taking my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Auburn and going ahead and outlining and lightly filling in my eyebrows before going ahead and taking the spoolie end and brushing that out. And then going into my ColourPop Disney Designer Collection, it's a Princess Thing palette taking a boo. And I'm going to be applying this to the arch of my eyebrow before taking my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter Gel and sweeping this through my brow hairs. I'm then going to be taking my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Primer and applying this to my eyelids and then going back into my ColourPop It's a Princess Thing palette taking Juju and I'm going to be taking this and just sweeping it through my crease and bringing it down to my lower lash line as well. I'm then going to be taking Fairy Godmother which is a beautiful champagne rose gold. I'm going to be applying this to my eyelids to help highlight them before going into Enchanted Rose and applying this to the outer corner of my eyelid and also bringing this down to my lower lash line. I'm then going to be going into Prince Charming and I'm going to be using this to highlight my brow bone and also apply this to the inner corner of my eyes. Next, I'm going to be taking my KVD Beauty Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown, and I'm just going to be doing a soft, simple brown wing liner on my upper eyelid. I'm then going to be going ahead and prepping my eyelashes by curling them before going into my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and sweeping this through my upper and my lower eyelashes. For my lips, I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Brink and I'm going to be going ahead and outlining my lips before moving on to my ColourPop Disney Princess Lipstick in Ariel and going ahead and filling in my lips with this. Then I'm going to be going into my ColourPop Sailor Moon Ultra Blotted Lip in Usagi and I'm going to be going ahead and applying this on top as well. Before taking a little break from our lips and moving over to our lashes, I'm going to be taking my Kiss Number 1 lashes and just applying this to my lash line. Next I'm going to be taking my Tula Signature Glow Spray and spraying this all over my face before setting my spray with my One Size Beauty Until Dawn Setting Mist and spraying it over my face as well. And then last but not least, the finishing touch is to take my ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil in Blossom Out and applying this over my lips. 
And that is it for my Penelope Featherington inspired Bridgerton makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!